Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new tutorial series. So in this series, I'm going to be teaching you Java from the beginning. So starting at the absolute basics, setting up an environment, uh, how to create variables, methods, like all that stuff, and then move it all the way up into the advanced stuff. So I'm projecting this tutorial series is probably going to be somewhere around 20 videos. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. And then after that tutorial series, just so you're aware, I will be going into a Java game development series. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Anyways, let's just get started with Java. Actually, quickly, I'm just going to say that this is a beginner tutorial series. So I'm going to treat this as if you have never learned any programming language before. So if you're someone who does have a programming language and you just want to learn Java and kind of go through it quickly, watch the first few minutes of the video, wait until you understand the content and move to the next one. If you're an absolute beginner, I'd recommend sticking through the whole video and making sure you really understand everything that I'm saying before you move on. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to need to do is download a uh, IDE. And this is where we're going to be writing our Java code, okay? So it's called Eclipse. This is what I'm going to use. Use whatever you want. But if you're a beginner, I recommend you just follow along with this because the, some of the things I'm going to do are specific to Eclipse. So go to this link. It's in the description down below. And just click on download. And then obviously 32 or 64 bit. I recommend 64 bit as most of you probably have a 64 bit machine. Once you download this, uh, if we go, sorry, I've already got an open here, but if we go to our downloads, we will see that it should give us something like this. Double click on it, wait for this to boot up, might take a second. Okay, it's going, it's going, let's see. And once we're in here, we're simply gonna select Eclipse IDE for Java developers. We don't need to be using any of this other stuff, just this one right here. Okay, so we're gonna install this. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna do that. Now it is going to ask you for a project directory, something like that. So if it asks you for that, just choose wherever on your computer. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So what, once you've had that installed, you chose your project directory. Now we're going to be in Eclipse. Now to start a new project, what we need to do, so it should look something like this, by the way, you're going to click on file, new, and then Java project. Now here, I'm just going to name mine tutorial. And then let's see here. You can just leave all the rest of this stuff blank. If you want to change the location, go ahead. All right, click finish. And there we are. So once we have this, it's going to pop up in our left bar, the package explorer. I'm just going to shrink this a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to source or, oh, I already have a uh, package name tutorial. One second. I'm just going to create a new one really quickly and then walk you through this. So it's fresh uh, tutorial one. Okay. Finish. All right. We get tutorial one and we get source. Okay. Um, now inside of the source, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this. We're going to click new and we're going to click on package. Now I recommend you just leave this package name the same as your project. So I'm going to do that and click finish. And then inside of your package name, I'm going to click new and class. Okay. So once I click class, it's going to pop up here. It's going to allow you to select the package and the source folder, just leave those blank and the name, you can name this whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to name it main. Okay type name is discouraged. Uh, okay, so let's name it main with a capital M. All right, just because Java likes that. And then what we're going to do is make sure you check on this public static void main, uh, we need to check mark this because we're going to need this function created uh, so that we can start. All right, uh, inherited abstract methods, you can uncheck that er, actually, we'll check that it doesn't really matter for right now. Okay, so now we're in and we've got a little bit of code going here. And I'm going to explain what this is and then we'll get into just coding like a really basic thing just printing a few things to the screen before we move into the next tutorial where we talk about data types so java is an object oriented program language meaning that everything happens inside of something called classes and everything is known as like objects all right now you're not going to understand very much about of this right now if you're a beginner but for some of you guys that are more advanced you should kind of understand what this means so classes are these okay and everything in java is written in a class or an interface or something else but in our purpose just think everything is written in a class right now okay now inside of this class, we have a special uh, method is what it's called. And these methods are what I'm highlighting right now inside of these curly brackets, public static void main. Okay. You don't have to know what all that, what those words mean. Just know this method is important. And this is what we're going to be writing all of our Java code in for right now. So if you try to write code outside of these little curly braces, um, not inside of this method, that's what we're calling it right now. Okay. Uh, your code is not going to execute properly unless you know what you're doing, which in our case, we don't yet. So all the code we're writing goes inside of this pa public static void main inside of these curly braces. All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to get us to do is just print something to the screen. So to print something in Java, 
we're going to type system dot out dot uh, my computer's lagging one second dot print ln and this simply stands for print line okay now inside of these brackets here we can print a string or whatever we want to print so a string in Java is anything encapsulated by two quotation marks. So whenever we're printing something, we want to do it in two quotation marks, at least for right now. And in this case, I'm going to say the classic hello world with an exclamation point. Okay. Now at the end of every line we write in Java with exception of lines that start or end with uh, curly braces, we need to put a semicolon. And now you can see once I put the semicolon that our system.out.println uh, gets highlighted and we can see that it now has syntax highlighting uh, and syntax pretty much means any code that we write in the program. So we have to make sure that whenever we're done writing a line, we terminate that with a semicolon. Okay, so now we've officially written our first program. All it does is print hello world to the screen, but how can we run this? Uh, so first we're gonna have to save, so I'm gonna hit control S. And to run this, there's a little green button up here and it says run main.java. So we're going to click that. And you can see that down here, a little thing popped up called console. And we printed to the screen, hello world. Now that we have officially created our first Java application. Very simple. And that is how we go about setting up a new class. And everything that we write for right now, again, remember, is going to happen inside this method. That's what we're calling it. I'm going to explain that later. Uh, public static void main. We have to put it in here. Now, if you want to print another line, you want to print something else after, we can do that. I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to say system.out.println and I'll say like hello world too. And if I save this and run again, we get hello world and hello world too. Now that has been the introduction tutorial. In the next video, I'm going to go into data types and primitive data types. And we're going to talk about like integers and strings and all that fun stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video and you're excited for the next one, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you there.